रॉक पेपर से यू बेन राइट तो हार्ड क्वेश्चंस पहले कर रहे हैं व्हाई शुड आई यूज को पायलट इट्स नॉट समथिंग दैट कैन रिप्लेस ह्यूमन क्रिएटिविटी एंड all the stuff that we do this is an ngo in the in mumbai that is working with slums and people to really create new data sets for ai to train these models the dream is every student in india having a personalized tutor every person in india having personalized medical advice at their fingertips you don't have to go and wait in a line in a hospital you're a tech journalist carrying a diary and a pen where is your copilot Hi guys, welcome to Chip Chat on NDTV. So this is Sharad Nair at NDTV.com. This is Puneet from Microsoft. I was just telling your team that I made it rain so that we arrive at the location at the same time. वरना आज था नहीं वैसे बारिश का उसमें but I made it rain. I wanted that to happen. So uh, Puneet, an event on Copilot. You're calling it an assistant and not just a tool to use. थोड़ा सा उस बारे में can you just help me? मतलब why call it an assistant? Now first question to you. You're a tech journalist carrying a diary and a pen. Where is your copilot? This is my uh, mild pilot. It can't fly with me, but iski zorat padti. But I see your point. Well played. Well played. <laughs> Waiting for the day when you're actually using the copilot. But to your question, uh, this is not just a tool anymore. It's an AI assistant, as I mm. said, which is, it's an assistant. It's a counselor. It's a teacher. It's a coach. It's a friend. It's somebody who really has conversations with you, helps you do what you're doing better, right. makes you more productive, gets stuff done faster, makes you more creative. It's a companion for life. अभी आपने फ्रेंड जो बोला प्रोफेशनल फ्रेंड पर्सनल फ्रेंड आई वुड से बोथ दोनों आई वुड से पर्सनल राइट वीकेंड्स पे आई वाज टेलिंग यू द स्टोरी राइट मैसन एंड आई वर प्लेइंग अराउंड माय डॉटर एंड आई प्ले अराउंड वी क्रिएट आर्ट टुगेदर शी इज अ आर्टिस्ट इट्स अ फ्रेंड फॉर लाइफ नॉट जस्ट वर्क आ ये आर्टिस्ट वाले पॉइंट के लिए आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन आई विल कम बैक टू इट सो अच्छा मैं बता देता हूं व्हाट आई हैव डन इज आई हैव प्रिपेयर्ड फाइव क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम यू सम ऑफ देम आर वेरी इजी सम ऑफ देम माइट साउंड अ लिटिल हार्ड व्हाट डू यू वांट टू डू फर्स्ट द हार्ड क्वेश्चंस और द इजी वंस और डू यू वांट टू डू अ रॉक पेपर सिजर की पहले कौन से करना हार्ड से करना रॉक पेपर सिजर कर लेते हैं चलो रॉक पेपर सिजर कर लेते हैं डन रॉक पेपर सिजर लिख लो रॉक एक बार रॉक पेपर सिजर यू विन राइट तो हार्ड क्वेश्चंस पहले कर रहे हैं सबसे ऊपर हार्ड वाला लिखा सो आई हैव डन द फाइव यू नो दो कांसेप्ट्स होते हैं ना जर्नलिज्म के हाउ व्हाट व्हेन वेयर वैसे करके मैंने ब्रेक डाउन कर लिए हाउ से शुरू कर रहे हैं यू एज इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट यू आर वन ऑफ द pioneers holding the doors open for ai ka pura benefits towards the society right but wo us door se iske jo cons hai wo bhi to andar aapki taraf ko aa rahe hain so how do you handle that so I'll answer this in two parts first is i don't think microsoft is holding the door i think it's an ecosystem it's a general purpose technology right yeah. this is like electricity right this is nobody owns electricity right it's a ecosystem that's coming together microsoft is playing a fairly pivotal role given the innovation yeah, that we're yeah, doing yeah, in ai so yeah. i think that's first which is microsoft's playing a role but it's the entire ecosystem that's coming together second to your question around how do you make sure that the bad actors don't come through the ro- the door when you're creating technologies that can change the world you have to build them with with the same responsibility right so i think security is job number 1 for us privacy True. confidentiality compliance so there's a ton of work that we do to make sure that these tools are giving you the privacy that you need are compliant give you the quality that you need and as microsoft i think it's truly a privilege to be in a moment like this and leading the charge Flexing. and yeah and what i what i'm excited about is copilot has become a verb for ai now right people say copilot this now yeah, which yeah. i think is super exciting and i think that's where that's where momentum gets i said that to you before the interview as well i'm quoting you to you wo jo compliance wala tha compliance is a necessity abhi compliance is always important right and microsoft runs on trust we say and everything that we built has to be trustworthy and if our if our customers can't trust the technology we are building mm. how will we how will we scale that up right so everything is built on a trust backbone and then compliance is a big part of trust which is not just compliant privacy safeguarding your data making sure we giving you all the right tools in the right way again if you're building technologies that change the world you have to build them responsibly so maybe trust is the transparency that that window the transparent window on the door safety transparency privacy all of that has to be built and those are the principles that we work with when we are building ai second hard question pushun sure second hard question ye hard nahi tha waise koi baat nahi tha koi baat nahi. let's okay. see maybe you can do better ye wala ho jayega shayad acha ek second ye relatively hard ho sakta hai i talk to so many people about ai like in general and the reactions i get on the meter is from me to ki apocalypse today tomorrow yesterday types wala bust the top 3 myths for me about ai you know by the way it's interesting you said that there are, there are two kinds of people there are people who believe that ai is for building christmas cards and there is a set of people who say this will completely change the world and yeah. ruin the world i think both are wrong um main to terminator quote kar raha tha i can't quote terminator as well as you do but um, i'll i'll to your question on three myths i think number one the first myth is it's for only geniuses and tech geeks that's not true like my it's not it's not I'm it's regular. not 
and you're regular and you're using it and I hope you use it even more not your diary but like my kids use it all the time my right. friends use it all the time everybody at at work everybody in India today I meet from banking to manufacturing everybody's True. using it and yeah, yeah. And I think it's a way to, in fact, uh, uh, Satya Nadella, our CEO and chairman, had said this, which is, it cuts the cord between knowledge and agency. You don't have to be a 20-year experienced doctor or a lawyer to do that kind of work. It gives you intelligence at your fingertips. So it's not just for geeks and, and geniuses. Second, I think the myth is it's so expensive. I don't think it's getting cheaper every day as these models get smarter. GPT-4 yeah, yeah, yeah. today is 75% cheaper to serve than when it was launched. So it's getting cheaper and faster every day. And then third, uh, people believe that this will replace humans, which I completely disagree with. I think it's a co-pilot. It's supposed to advance human agency, complement you, be a coach, be an advisor, be an assistant, be a teacher. But it's not something that can replace human creativity and all the stuff that we do. Did the person who named it co-pilot get employee of the month? And <laughs> I'm sure I'm not aware, but I'm sure they did. It's a brilliant name. It's a brilliant it's name. Brilliant. I agree. So much contextual sense. Now, questions are relatively, they're going easy only. Huh? So the next question is, I keep hearing that the most important thing with AI is prompting. Is that true? It's one of the important things, right? It's like somebody, the metaphor I use is like waving a mag magic wand, but you still have to wave it, right? And uh -huh. when you're working with Copilot, the more precise you are in terms of asking the question. If you're asking a general question, then you can answer generally. So if you're specific, like the question that I was asking last night about uh -huh. you, saying, tell me about what you do and your background and what's your what's peculiar about you and what kind of questions would you ask me was a very specific prompt and I got some very interesting answers. So I think one, you have to be specific and I think that's where it requires intelligence. Second, I think you also have to be creative and, and have fun with it, right? It's supposed to unlock creativity. So it's supposed to teach you things and show you things that you're not thinking on your own. So the more you explore, the more you play around, the smarter you get with it. But when do you think people should start you know, from becoming a user to, let's say, a prompt engineer? Because I'm specifically asking for students who want to become the next faces of AI technology. When do you think should you know, the starting point be? The best prompt engineers would be the ones who are using this tool in the best way, right? So first is, I would say to all students, start using it now. Abhi use Karo Square. Let's okay. start playing around with it. Use it for everything that you do. Like I start my day with the Copilot app. All my emails go through the Copilot app. Half my emails get typed. All my meetings get transcribed. Yes. All my Word documents, Excel documents, PowerPoint documents get created by Copilot. So it's become a way of life. So the first thing is make it a way of life because it will truly unlock productivity. It'll free up time for you to be more creative and do right. interesting things. And then once you've gotten a hang of it, once you've become a really proficient user, then you can think about saying, listen, is there a career to be made in prompt engineering? There's enough and more to do there. But there is a huge wide scope there. Like people can use AI to become like can be the career, let's say. There are, in fact, uh, there are lots of conversations today about the jobs that AI is creating, right? And there yeah. are so many jobs being created. Prompt engineering is one of them, right? There is there's an NGO in, the, in Mumbai that is working with slums and people to really create new data sets for AI to train these models, Fascinating. right? And I met some of them, right? So that's, again, a job category that never existed, True. right? So, again, there is enough and more to be created here with jobs as well. Now, my easy questions are again, so they're relatively very easy. Yeah. One is where... Where is the ceiling for AI? Where are you guys taking? I, I, I'm going to f act like an HR, you know. So, <laughs> hello, Puneet. Where do you see yourself and the AI you're helping build in the next five years? Did I do a good impression? I did a good impression. You did a very good impression. But first of all, I don't think there's a ceiling to this. In fact, what AI does beautifully is it reduces the floor and raises the ceiling. Oh. It reduces the floor because anybody can get started today, right? I don't have to be a journalist as smart as you to figure out what kind of questions to ask if I have to interview somebody, right? I can use Copilot to help me do that. So yeah. I don't need your kind of training and experience. And right? so it reduces the floor. I can yeah. start today like you've yeah, been doing yeah, it for many yeah. years. Agreed. It raises the ceiling because if Copilot is really helping you to make your questions even more interesting and your interviews and everything very interesting for your customers and consumers, Absolutely. then the ceiling of what you can do is much higher now, right? So I don't think there's a ceiling to it. In terms of what's coming next is, and I spoke earlier, right, which is one yeah. is from search to conversations. They'll, they'll become real conversations, more and more intelligence at your fingertips. And then eventually agency, when co-pilots start acting on your behalf, they won't just remind you it's your friend's birthday, they'll send flowers on your yeah. behalf. I think that's where the magic will happen. And hardware getting cheaper, this will also get in more and more hands gradually as well. Yeah, I think both. In fact, you should see our co-pilot PCs we were talking about this morning, right? I mean, one, I think hardware is, again, these models are getting smarter and cheaper every day, right? And I said GPT-4 is 75% cheaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're getting cheaper and they're getting smarter, which basically means the cost to serve will only come down, yeah. both in terms of hardware and the PCs that we're talking about. And obviously, these models and and co-pilots, they'll get, it'll only get smarter and cheaper. So I would say get started now. So there'll be a day when every portable device, let's say that we can carry, will have 
an assistant and AI assistant on them on board. Absolutely. The dream is every student in India having a personalized tutor. Every uh -huh. person in India having personalized medical advice at their fingertips. You don't have to go and wait in a line in the hospital. You should be able to get that advice with that, with that coach in your phone or your device or whatever you're using. I think getting co-pilot into the hand of every human being on the planet, I think that's a dream worth okay. going after. Nice. Puneet, uh, I have tricked you. The last question which is supposed to be easy is actually the hardest one. You have commented on my diary, comment kiya tha, so now you have to sell co-pilot to me. While I'm a journalist, but I told you that I have artistic inclinations as well. Why should I use co-pilot? This is the last question, so make it like a big selling. Why should I use co-pilot? Talk to me as a creative person as well. As a creative person yeah. as well? That's hard for me. I'm not a super creative person. I'll say three things, right? One, um, as a journalist, uh, you want to get more done in less time, right? There is enough grunt work in your life as well to prepare for questions and transcribe meetings and look at notes and then write. Yeah. I know you love writing, but even I love writing, but there's a lot of grunt work that goes into writing. Imagine right. that grunt work goes away. Imagine if you could, right now, I'm assuming you're writing for four hours a day. Imagine if you could write for eight hours a day and all that grunt work is gone. That is co-pilot for you. Got Number two, when you're writing, can you be more creative with writing? So can you explore ideas? So when I'm writing, and I don't write professionally like you do, I write for myself. But imagine if there's a companion who I can bounce off ideas with. Yeah, that's good. something what I miss right now, just bouncing ideas of someone who doesn't have a judgmental layer at all. I say the stupidest of stuff, and the other person on the other hand is like, that sounds like a great idea, why don't you explore? Got it, got it. And, and also connecting the dots, right? Which is saying, listen, I have these two disparate ideas which don't make sense by themselves. Is there a connection here? Can you help me connect the dots? I think that is another incredible power, superpower that you can have with Copilot. So one, productivity, which is save your time, take the grunt off, Correct. work off so that you can focus on what you love. Second is even be even more creativity as you're doing this so that you can connect the dots and try things and no judgment when somebody is helping you. And that get for me is a big point of the no judgment. Was Third, it just makes you a better journalist, right? I mean, it just raises the, the ceiling and reduces the floor. It makes you far more effective at your job and you can get so much more done. And as a creative person, let's say, assume I'm a good musician and a good filmmaker. I'll tell you another person's story. It was my dad's birthday recently and, um, and I actually said co-pilot. Uh, I'm not very creative like you. And I put some context in saying this is about my dad and this is what uh, he's done in his life and can you create a small poem for him. It created a beautiful poem. I said, can you bring some music to it? Can we create a song? And now I do this, right? For every friend's birthday, I actually compose a song for him or her, which is, is contextualized. Coming. Sorry? Mine is coming. <laughs> Yours coming? Absolutely. I will make sure that I get your song. But that's creativity. Like I could never do that. And it's so, so cool to do that. Yeah, I think it's just another avenue added to your personality as well. Then now you're someone who can you know, connect with people on a personal level. Thank you so much, Puneet. These insights, not just the ones that you shared here, the ones that I had inside, they're so, I mean, the only word I have right now is beautiful. Because if it is enriching lives, it's something that is doing positively for people, everyone. Thank you so Thank much you for your so time. Much, yeah. It was such a pleasure talking to you and I hope it was a likewise pleasure talking to I us. Really enjoyed it. Really experience. enjoyed it. I'm fond of writing as well, so I'd love to pick your brain at some point. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Send me a request via Copilot. Use I it for will. Teams and send me a request. I will.